Kakanhun Kinohi Kai Hapo Akashatri Ka Federation of All School Teachers of Meghalaya Fastom Kilai Kendu Yo Menteri Rangba Ka Jelau Conrad Sangma Hakabaya Day Ba Kijing Dawa Ki Balabun Snem Ki Jong Kinohi Kai Ad Hoc Hakajela Kumban Shipan Kenmao Kinohi Kai Ad Hoc Kila Sedang Yakarali Ba Klemput Ka Jong Ki Hakmat Ka Office Secretariat Hanong Ba Shalong Nadu Mene Ka Sengi Ka Kat Arterik Ujemang Arhajar Arhuar Habaya Kren Ba Kilat Patai Kubor Hakaju Kasni, unong ay jingkren ka fastom u samla mebon lingdo. Ulayat ho, baka kanhun kinohi kai kalay kandu arwat bat u chief secretary katanat puli puthi u ba DP Walang bat shisien bat u menteri rangba ka jela u konrat sangma hakabala ya paliw jingmut halor ki jingdawa ki jong kinohi kai ad hoc hamighalia. Umi bon ling do ule ya tu shu shu bau menteri rang ba ka jelau la kular baya ka kam ka baya dei ba ki jing dawa ki nong hikai on se ya keren sani baha ha ki lai teli ki jing ya kendu elang jong ka kabinet ha ki sengi ki bandang wan. Based on the meeting that we had today, we had three meetings actually today. Two meetings with Sir D.P. Walang and one meeting with the Chief Minister. So in the first round of meeting that we had with Sir D.P. Walang, we, uh, we had a discussion on the, the proposal that was made. And then he had briefed to us about the different things that were being taken up by the Education Department. And, where, uh, and he has also uh, assured us that the file that our file is in the last stage, exactly as what the Deputy Chief Minister Bak Masun Ritsam has said yesterday at the media. So uh, based on the second meeting, we came back, so we told Sadiqi Walang that we actually need to meet with the CM now to get the uh, affirmation, affirmation and the commitment from their side. So when we met the Chief Minister, he gave us the commitment that our uh, that the status of uh, the enhancement and the increment work, which is and the new proposal that is being sent actually the the upgraded proposal which is actually a better proposal that is being sent by the education department to the chief minister he will need three cabinet meetings so he said that it, maybe it can be done in the first cabinet meeting maybe it can be done in the second cabinet meeting however he gave us the assurance of the uh, three cabinet meetings because he said just in case. So we took his word that we will wait for the three cabinet meetings. Okay. Yeah, from our from our side, the eighteen thousand and five percent increment stands, but the official statement is or should come from them, where they said that our proposal is made better because they have also included some other teachers as well. We will have to go back to the streets, we will have to ask them, we will have to ask the teachers what they want to do. Because in Fastam, there is no one leader, all of us are leaders, they are all responsible for themselves. Even if some of, them, some of us decide not to agitate anymore, it depends on them whether they still want to agitate or not. However, we will go back, we will explain to them the situation and their response will be the final spot in the initiative to also include uh, some teachers that is the Hindi then the, the uh, science and the other teachers so based on that we we are quite happy with the meeting and the uh, discussion that we had today. also answer hypothetically if the government does not then we will see then what we will do we will not stay here now because that is a question of, a, of an if we will also answer in a know, and as far as he has told us, actually uh, every week uh, there is supposed to be a cabinet meeting. So when we say every week, it means uh, seven days. However, the chief minister has uh, told us that uh, normally they conduct, uh, they conduct the cabinet meeting once in ten days. So he has unofficially also stated that maybe uh, they are going to need a three cabinet meeting so 10 into 3 is 30 days maybe the, the, the time frame is one month so he has given us the assurance that uh, our status will be uh, will be uh, what to say we will start getting what we have asked for in the third cabinet meeting so that is the assurance that he gave us the studies of the students have not been wasted because through throughout ever since we started the educational programs we have been uh, uh, 
if, if we take uh, a look at the sit-in protest, uh, protest that we that we sat there for one month, we did that on rotation. Five teachers every single day on rotation. It means that the teachers are not losing classes. So, uh, see, in a year, every single teacher can take a leave of 10 to 15 days. So they, they are these teachers who took a leave for one day. They, they came, sat, they went back to the school. So even if you take a look at an NCM, the non-cooperation movement, that lasted only for one week. So after the uh, education minister has given the assurance uh, uh, that they are looking up into the matter and also we ease the movement, we ease the education and the teachers were back in the classroom and uh, uh, the teachers who were correcting papers, they are back with the evaluation process. So implications is actually, yes, we have discussed about the financial implications but uh, like I said, we have also stated there that uh, we uh, we did not get the enhancement since 2016 and that's six years so in the last six years if you take a look at the budget of Meghalaya it has it has improved drastically so it has improved right from 13,000 crores to 14 to 15 to 16 and now we are standing at 17,000 crores so which means that a lot of money is coming uh, or a lot of money uh, maybe it's not just coming but a lot of money is there and when, it, when we are talking about the different sectors, different sectors are being allocated with different kinds of funds. So based on that, we have asked the Chief Minister to look into, uh, to look into those funds because if, if we also talk about, uh, we have uh, uh, regu rigorously talked about the SAS tax and the other tax. So which means that the, we know for sure that the government does have money which is why we have put up this kind of a, of a proposal. Uh, something that has been that has been uh, in uh, in thought for ever since we stated this proposal. Because when we send the proposal, we send the proposal in three parts. First is the deficit system, or the deficit uh, the deficit system. The second is the deficit pattern, and the third is the 18,000 18, enhancement and five percent of uh, increment. So right from the start, when we send the proposal that is on the 18th of January, we have sent it in three parts. So we are happy if we get any one of the three. It is not something that we are so stubborn that we will stick to the deficit system. Because had we want to stick only to the deficit system, we will not, we will not send a proposal that has the second and the third option. The reason why we, we also kept in the proposal the second and the third option is because we are also studying the government and we are also studying the uh, budget of the government, how much. So based on that, uh, see, should the government only only think of the LP, UP, the higher secondary, or the secondary and the higher secondary, then the first option would also be feasible for the government. However, as teachers, the 250 crores is for the uh, upgradation of the of the primary, upper primary, secondary, and higher secondary to the deficit system. That is 250 crores. So, based on uh, the the, what they call, the meeting that we had, we are not uh, uh, standing on the 250 crores because we have had many meetings with the officers of the government from the education department. We have discussed at large. Therefore, we have come down. We have come down to the 18,000 uh, of enhancement and 5% of increment. Now, uh, again, coming back to the status of uh, where the government stands, where it says it is going to need 500 and 700 crores. Uh, right now, we understand that when the government is talking in terms of the 500 and 700 crores, it is not just talking about the, these four sections because even in the ad hoc, there are five categories. The pre-primary ca category is also there. Then there's also the food teacher who is actually an SSA teacher, but he draws the salary from the state government. Then there are also these comes to an amount that was being uh, told in the assembly. So based on the uh, proposal, which is an upgraded proposal that is being sent by the education department to the government, we understand where the government is standing while it is stating the budgetary facts.